Well, welcome to another episode of Papa's Workshop. These are for Adam, Brady, Luke, and Brenna. But before we get started, we need to check in with my assistant. There she is, expecting a treat again. There you go. Because you're working so hard today. Yeah. All right, let's get to work. All right. Uh, so this session, we're going to, uh, this is part three of the Newport card table. And last session, I wasn't happy with the way the apron came out. Uh, so we got a new, a new template for that. Now here we are with the, uh, the new apron pieces uh, all fit. Like, like it's kind of right where we were before. Um, I cut the, the shape of the aprons and thought it was too, too much too much curve. Um, so I got these pieces all to the same state. We got the mortise and tendons done and the uh, dovetails in the back and everything is test fitted. So it's, I'm ready to cut out that shape. And here's the template I'm gonna use. Um, and we talked last time, I was changing the depth of this part here with different samples. Uh, the more I got to thinking about it, the, the, the more I'm convinced that they probably used the same curve on the top as they did on the bottom. Um, they may not have used templates like this, uh, but they had probably at least had a story stick with the measurements and, uh, you know, and how to lay it out. And I would think they would do that the same with all of these curves, I, I kind of think. So I played with with changing different things only slightly uh made a couple of more test cuts and I, i've come up with this one so we're ready to cut that uh, we'll see how that looks and then we can start working on the back legs all right there's the new uh, apron the new profile uh, i still have to clean up so i did the middle here a little bit but i'm going to take a break from that uh, right now um, and you can see uh, this uh, these blocks had the end grain the way I wanted it in the first place that goes from corner to corner from this top back to the front bottom it goes this way and that accentuates the curve see how we we go up like that and then around so it kind of follows that curve and I think that looks a lot better. We've got just straight lines here. Um, I'll get the other piece and show the difference. Um, so that worked out really well. And you can see I missed, I had some sapwood on that corner, but it, it missed that all and, and it won't be a problem. And the, the two uh, uh, side aprons the same way. We got that and, and missed the sapwood, so. We're good there. Uh, let me show you the other one. So here's the original. And see, we had a little bit of the grain doing that there, but we had all this. And then, of course, this goofy front. So that didn't look. But you can see how much ah, steeper the curve right here is compared to the new one. I think it looks, I think it looks better. So, so that's where we're at with that. Um, I'm going to do a sample of the back leg to make sure I'm not too thin or narrow on that. So here's two two by fours glued up and then squared up to be the, the right size for my back leg blank. If you can see the pattern. And the back leg is a pad foot, not the ball and claw. And the pad foot has this, <coughs> this part right here is round so it's turned on the lathe um, so we're going to do that uh, right now I, I've seen it uh, both ways where you cut the shape and then turn it uh, but it seems to me that it would be better to turn it when it's this way because it would be balanced I mean you have to worry about these when, when you cut this part down to the diameter you've got these corners to worry about uh, so that may be 
that may be something, but <clears throat> we're going to try it this way and see how it works. Uh, and then on the on the real ones, we can do it do it the other way if this doesn't seem to work too well. So we're going to turn that real quick, and then uh, then we'll cut this out on the bandsaw. All right, I did the leg. Um, I don't think it's too thin. I think that looks good. But I think the pad is not big enough. I think it should be a little bit bigger around. I don't know how well you can see. I'll need to make a bigger view of that thing. But it, the pad seems quite a bit bigger uh, down there. So I just need to make it a little bit bigger. And as far as what to, what to turn first or not to turn first, um, by turning first, you've got now uh, when you're you're turning, and you need to to uh, round that profile right there. You've got those corners sticking out, so you've you you got to kind of play with rolling the gouge uh, to get that. So it's kind of a tight thing, and then when you go and you use the uh, rasp to smooth this all out I hit it a few times uh, and I actually had to put it back on the lathe to make this little cut line so uh, I guess a long story short is you could rough it out ahead of time um, that gives you clear uh, delineation of where where the bandsaw cut has to start and then it it's not too out of balance of course this is not as heavy as the cherry would be but i think you go back and you finish this up with uh, after it's cut out on the lathe and you can do um, so you, you can't just make that a cylinder, right? Because you got this, but you can make this cut, get that line right there, and then then shape that. I, I think that'll work. That's what I'm going to try. All right. I uh, took a closer look at that, uh, the pad feet on the original, and, uh, you know, I thought this didn't look big enough compared to the picture. Um, and I think what it is, is that the, I did this with this at the, the center of the blank. And I think it's actually shifted a quarter inch. The center of the pad is a quarter inch above or toward the front corner uh, from the center line. So I did that on this one and you can see that that foot looks a lot better. Um, so I adjusted the template a little bit to, to uh, follow that more, uh, you know, where the new position of that foot is. So what I did was uh, I, I roughed out that, that diameter uh, first, and now I've got it marked. I will go ahead and and cut that out on the bandsaw and get it close to the, get all those curves. All of these curves, get those close down to the, and then then do the final turning. And I still have to do the final. Uh, I have to get it down to that line but I wanted to get them both in the same state. When you're trying to get, when you're trying to get two legs or four legs all to look the same, it's best to do the steps on both of them or the set of them, each, do each step and, and do all of them so that they're, you don't, you know, if you go through the whole process on one, then you may do it slightly different on the second one. You may not remember exactly. Um, so that's my, my rule of thumb anyway. So I'm ready to cut this out on the bandsaw.
Well, it seems like this project is trying to get the best of me here. I had a blowout. I was cracked. Uh, and, uh, so that's, that chunk came out of there. So, shoot. I'm probably going to have to start over, but I guess I'll try to curve curve that down and see how bad it be. This, this piece doesn't really fit back in there very good, even when I push it up in there. It's a big gap. So, shoot. Let me see what we can do. All right. Uh, I shaped that and it, it just isn't, uh, that, that split or chunk that came out just isn't going to go away. So the other option is to try and put a piece on there. So I've taken plain, hand plane and got that nice and flat all the way. And I've taken a piece, uh, that came from the leg and I've tried to match up. Like, see, we got these two but that kind of column, I've got the same thing on this. So I tried to match this up. Uh, and I'm going to glue that on there and then we'll reshape it and see what we think. And the third option is to cut another piece and start over. Uh, but such is the way of uh, woodworking. So we'll see how this turns out. All right, let's take this thing apart and see what we got. All right, so we got to trim that. Gotta get a little plane here. All right, I got it starting to shape up. Um, you can see a little bit of a seam right there. Well, well, you can see if I can zoom in that a little bit. Yeah, there you go. So, we still got some more uh, shaping to do. Uh, let me see what, let's see if we put a little alcohol on there. Actually, it looks pretty good, I think. Uh, if I was going to sell it, obviously I wouldn't do that. But uh, you can see this up here, we've got the seam. No, actually, that's the wood. Seam's up there, right up there, and, and down, and down here. But actually, I think it's turned out pretty good. And, uh, I can see a little bit of it there, yeah, right at the, the top. But this is actually going to be, look at this back part.
right there. This is going to be the, the part of the leg that faces the wall. So, <clears throat> and this one will face front. I mean, it'll face, yeah, because it's going to be at an angle. So I, I think, uh, I think it'll be all right. So what I need to do is, um, see there's, there's kind of a, it's undercut in the back. So I may have to um, go back to the lathe and just do that a little bit and then get this flat around there. And it looks like it's rounded, I don't know what, a th third of the way up, not quite. It's like by halfway halfway point, it's about straight again. So I have to kind of work that up and then do that same thing on the other. But I think we're pretty close. If I turn that around, you can kind of see where we're at so far. I just got to nibble at that some more. Like I said, I think I'll go back to the lathe and just uh, undercut that just a little bit and see what see what happens. We're getting close. I was I was pretty sure I was going to have to make another leg. All right, we're getting a little closer. I'm, I'm working on trying to get both legs to look the same. Um, so it looks like that one's a little thicker, but anyway, so. What I'm doing is, I uh, I made some lines here every every inch up, and making sure that it's kind of the same curve. I've just got old credit card pieces. I just cut diameters, so I make sure on the corner that it it's the same on all of these, and then there's different sizes going up, so. That should get it this much about the same. Then we have to kind of work on the foot to get those the same. But we're getting there. We got the, we got the start of the lip on the back. Set that there. And the same with this one. So we are getting there. But I'm just kind of working. I'm, I'm working with the spoke shave and the file and just working it and then i got the, some scrapers i got the, this one and then this one i've filed out so that it it can it can get right in here like this get that curve uh, without doing that so just a matter of getting it all smoothed out and once I'm satisfied with all of that, we'll take some sandpaper to it. it just uh, not much to watch, but <laughs> just a little bit of work to, to do. All right, I got them pretty well, pretty well shaped. They look pretty, pretty good. The red marks were what I still have to uh, work on. And I... Uh, I just made some measurement points and, and and measured the distance, you know, compared them, trying to get the, we need to get the legs to match. So I'm at a point where all I need to do now is uh, take a scraper and, and uh, just trim that. So I've done this side, I just need to do that down to this, this line and get that cleaned up. And then take and, uh, do this, get all the marks off of there, and uh, then we'll just work our way up the leg. I uh, purposefully did not cut off the uh, the blocks yet, just to give me more meat up here. Um, so once we'll work the leg up and get this this area here all all smooth out, there's no knee on these back legs, so we just get this all cleaned up and then we'll cut those off. 
All right, we got the two legs pretty well all uh, all scraped and uh, all the machine marks off of there. Um, they just need to be sanded. But before we do that, and I've done the, the, the tops here, you know, down close, um, it's just easier to, to get all that while you've still got that uh, block there so we don't mar up the, the, the finished surface there. So I'm ready to cut the cut this excess off here and there. And I'm gonna use the table saw to cut it mostly off. Um, and that'll give me a nice flat reference. And then I'll uh, trim the rest of it with the, the uh, band saw and then by hand get that all nice, nice and square. So I'm gonna dry fit the uh, mortise and make sure that this this line which you can't hardly see on that one yeah there we go so I'll make sure that line is the the edge of the, the tendon piece um, and we'll cut those and trim that then we'll be ready for final sanding so Here's our, our back. Look, look, look down from the top, and we need to make a little lip like that, and that fits right into this side apron. So here, here it is together. When it's folded, this needs to be flush. Um, now, I'm not sure why they did that, uh, other than to make sure it rests tight against this, and there can be a gap on this inside. Uh, that's the only thing, or, or maybe this this gets tight right there to kind of hold it in place. Not really sure, but that is the way the original was done. So we need to make that little notch uh, just where the apron goes, and then when it comes time to do the hinge, we'll have to get that. It's going to have to be perfect to get it flush with that end, so that'll be a challenge. All right, so I've taken a knife and marked this edge, because that's how far down we'll have to go. And so we'll need to mark mark this edge, and uh, it'll have to go clear to the top, because we'll have to match the apron. So, um, actually, so this distance down to here will have to be however big the apron is. I'll get that over there and then we we just want to go down to about there with that notch so I think what I'll do is rough that out with a router set this depth and uh, I don't know if I got enough enough here to do that with I think so we'll try that otherwise we'll have to to cut that out loud by hand so here's the apron piece, and we'll have to make that same uh, notch, or the, uh, the matching notch. So we'll have to cut this along here uh, by the by the quarter inch. So we have to kind of do those together. We want that to fit uh, to fit flush right in there. All right, we got the uh, the little notch cut out. And uh, and we got the corresponding notch on that, so that will fit there, something like that. Um, it's a little fat, but I can. We're gonna trim it once we get to the uh, the final position. That'll have to be be flushed out. But we can't. We have to wait till the hinge. It, it'll be like the last stop. The hinge will have to be installed. And then we'll have to, to swing that in and then then plane it. That gives us a little bit of wiggle room to, to get it right. And I can always shave this or that to, to get it to get it to fit. So the back leg is completely finished other than the final sanding. But All right, that'll do it for this episode. Um, we're gonna get this out just in time for Christmas. So I want to wish everybody a Merry Christmas. And um, we'll put something out, uh, um, it may be after the first of the year, 
So a happy new year to everybody and thanks for watching. Bye.